Our universe is huge and full of mysteries. It's filled with amazing things in space. Among these amazing things are pulsars and magnetars. They are some of the most extreme and mysterious objects we've ever found. Imagine a lighthouse in space, its light sweeping across the darkness. That's a pulsar, a spinning star that sends out beams of energy. Now picture a giant magnet, so strong it could bend space itself. That's a magneta, a type of star with a super strong magnetic field. These fascinating objects used to just be ideas, but now we can see them. They challenge what we know about physics and how we look at space. Finding them opened up new ways to study the universe, showing us how stars live and die and the extreme conditions out there in space. Pulsars and magnetars are more than just cool things in space. They are powerful tools, like space laboratories that let us test the laws of physics in extreme environments, places much more extreme than anything on Earth. Deep in space, where gravity squishes matter and magnetic fields warp atoms, these objects show us the universe's most extreme events. Come with us as we explore the world of pulsars and magnetars, looking at their special qualities, why they're important, and the mysteries they still hold. To understand pulsars and magnetars, we need to know where they come from. They are born when giant stars, much bigger than our sun, die. When these huge stars run out of fuel, they can't fight against gravity anymore. The center collapses, causing a huge explosion called a supernova. The outer parts of the star explode into space, creating beautiful nebulae that light up the cosmos. But the star's core is left behind, squeezed by gravity into a super-dense ball called a neutron star. Imagine squeezing our sun, which is already huge, into a ball the size of a city. That's how dense a neutron star is. A tiny spoonful of it would weigh billions of tons on Earth. These extreme objects aren't just super-dense, they also spin really fast. This happens because of something called conservation of angular momentum. Think of a figure skater spinning faster when they pull their arms in. The same thing happens when a star's core collapses. It spins much faster. This fast spinning, combined with the strong magnetic fields inside the neutron star, is what makes pulsars and magnetars so special. Pulsars and magnetars aren't just cool to look at. They're also important tools for astrophysicists, helping us understand lots of things in space. By studying the regular pulses of energy from pulsars, astronomers can measure how fast they spin, which can be hundreds of times per second. These measurements help us study what matter is like under extreme pressure, testing what we know about physics. Also, the strong gravity of neutron stars makes them perfect for studying Einstein's theory of general relativity. Pulsars orbiting other stars have proven Einstein's theory to be very accurate. The super-strong magnetic fields of magnetars also let us study how matter and magnetism interact at the smallest level. These powerful fields can even bend space, creating weird effects that challenge what we know about physics. By watching these effects, we can learn more about the fundamental forces that control the universe. So, as we explore space, pulsars and magnetars are like guides, helping us understand the universe and its wonders. They are windows to extreme places, showing us parts of physics we can only imagine. The story of pulsars begins in the mid-1960s with a young scientist named Jocelyn Bell Burnell. She was working at a university, looking at data from a new radio telescope. The telescope was looking for distant galaxies, recording the faint radio waves from space. While looking at the data, Jocelyn noticed something strange, a regular signal pulsing very precisely. At first, she and her advisor thought it might be interference from Earth. But the signal kept coming back from the same spot in the sky. The pulses came every 1.337 seconds, a very regular pattern. What was causing this space clock to tick? Could it be a signal from aliens? It was a thrilling thought, but they needed to investigate more. This discovery, first met with doubt, would soon change how we understand stars. As Jocelyn and her team looked closer, they found more of these pulsing sources, each with its own unique rhythm. These objects, 
first called LGMs for little green men, were definitely not from Earth. They were coming from deep space, showing us a new kind of object in the universe. When scientists realized these pulsing sources weren't aliens, but something natural, everyone got excited. Astronomers all over the world pointed their telescopes at these mysterious objects, wanting to understand them. The mystery grew deeper when they found that the pulses weren't just radio waves. Some pulses sent out all kinds of energy, from X-rays to gamma rays, showing that something very powerful was happening. The big discovery came when astronomers realized that the short, precise pulses meant the source was spinning very fast. But what could spin so fast without breaking apart? The answer was the remains of dead stars. When big stars run out of fuel, they collapse, their cores squeezed into incredibly dense neutron stars. These neutron stars, only a few miles across, but as heavy as our sun, can spin hundreds of times per second without shattering. The strong gravity holds them together. These dense, spinning objects, they realized, were making the mysterious pulses. But how do these spinning neutron stars make the pulses we see? The answer is in their super-strong magnetic fields. These magnetic fields, trillions of times stronger than Earth's, guide charged particles along the star's magnetic poles. As these particles move, they send out energy, called synchrotron radiation. This energy, beamed out from the magnetic poles, sweeps across space like a lighthouse beam, creating the pulses we see. Imagine a lighthouse far away, its beam sweeping across the ocean. You only see the light when the beam points at you. In the same way, we only see a pulse from a pulsar when its beam points at Earth. The faster the pulsar spins, the shorter the time between pulses. Some pulses, called millisecond pulses, spin hundreds of times per second. Their pulses like rapid bursts of energy. These millisecond pulses are like super accurate clocks in space. They are so regular, almost as precise as atomic clocks, making them important tools for studying many things in space. Finding pulses gave astronomers a new tool to study the universe, a super-accurate cosmic clock. By timing the pulses from these space beacons, astronomers can study lots of things, from the gas between stars to how groups of stars move. Pulses have even been used to test Einstein's theory of relativity, proving it to be very accurate. The regular pulses of pulses are like a cosmic metronome, ticking away precisely. As these pulses travel through space, they are slightly delayed by the gas and dust between stars, like how sound travels differently through different materials. By studying these delays, astronomers can map the stuff in our galaxy, seeing the structure of clouds and the remains of exploded stars. Also, the precise timing of pulsar signals lets astronomers see tiny changes in how fast they spin. These changes can be caused by planets orbiting the pulsar, the pulsar losing energy, or even the bending of space predicted by Einstein. By studying these changes, astronomers can learn about these strange objects and where they are in space. While pulsars were changing what we knew about stars, the universe had another surprise, something even more extreme. This surprise was magnetars, a rare type of neutron star with unbelievably strong magnetic fields. Scientists first thought of magnetars in the late 1970s, but we didn't actually see them until almost 20 years later. Their discovery came from a sudden burst of energy that went through our galaxy. It started with mysterious bursts of gamma rays detected by satellites watching for nuclear explosions. These bursts, short but very strong, seem to come from inside our galaxy, unlike other gamma-ray bursts that come from far away and signal the death of giant stars. The source of these bursts was a mystery for years, with many theories but no real answers. Then, in 1998, astronomers saw something strange. A faint star suddenly became thousands of times brighter in X-rays before fading back to normal. This event, called an anomalous X-ray pulsar, was similar to the mysterious gamma-ray bursts, suggesting a connection. Mm -hmm. 
scientists soon realized that the key to these mysterious objects was their incredibly strong magnetic fields. These fields, trillions of times stronger than irregular pulsars, are probably created during the chaotic moments after a supernova. Sometimes, a dying star's core can spin and churn very rapidly, creating a dynamo effect that makes the magnetic field super strong. These magnetic fields are so strong, they can actually change the shape of the neutron star, creating mountains on its surface that are small but weigh billions of tons. The immense pressure from the magnetic field can also make the star's crust crack, causing starquakes that release huge amounts of energy. These starquakes power the bursts of gamma rays and X-rays we see, lighting up space with short, bright flashes. The discovery of magnetars showed us a part of physics rarely seen anywhere else. These extreme objects, with their mind-blowing magnetic fields and bursts of energy, are a unique laboratory to study how matter, gravity and magnetism interact in extreme conditions far beyond anything we can create on Earth. The incredible strength of a magnetar's magnetic field has a huge effect on how it behaves, causing events much more dramatic than what we see in regular pulses. One of the most amazing things is starquakes, incredibly powerful seismic events that shake the neutron star's crust. These starquakes are probably caused by the stress building up in the crust, as the magnetic field pushes and pulls on the star's surface. When the stress gets too high, the crust cracks, sending shockwaves through the star at almost the speed of light. These shockwaves, carrying enormous energy, interact with the magnetic field, creating powerful bursts of energy, from radio waves to gamma rays. These bursts, often seen as short, bright flashes, can briefly outshine entire galaxies, giving us a quick look at the extreme environment around these magnetic powerhouses. Besides these sudden bursts, magnetars also have slower changes in their X-ray brightness, probably caused by the magnetic field lines twisting and reconnecting. These events, called flares, can last for months or even years, slowly releasing energy as the magnetic field changes, lighting up the surrounding space with a constant glow of high-energy radiation. Even though we've learned a lot about magnetars, they are still very mysterious. How they form, exactly what their magnetic fields are like, and what causes their bursts of energy are still things scientists are studying. Astronomers keep watching these powerful objects with telescopes on Earth and in space, hoping to uncover their secrets. One big question is why magnetars are so rare. We've found thousands of pulses, but only a few dozen magnetars. This suggests that the conditions needed to make these extreme objects are unusual, maybe needing a specific size and spin of the star when it explodes. Understanding what makes a dying star become a magnetar instead of a regular pulsar is important for learning how stars evolve. Also, the extreme magnetic fields of magnetars challenge what we know about physics. These fields are so strong that our current theories struggle to explain them, so we need new math to fully understand them. By studying the energy from magnetars, astronomers hope to learn about the fundamental nature of electromagnetism and how it interacts with gravity in these extreme environments. As we explore space further, magnetars continue to fascinate us, acting as cosmic laboratories that test our knowledge and push the boundaries of astrophysics. Every new observation helps us appreciate the amazing variety of objects in our universe and the complex physics that governs them. In the vastness of space, pulsars and magnetars are what's left after massive stars live short, bright lives and then die. Both are incredibly dense, heavier than our sun but packed into a ball only a few miles across, and both spin really fast. But their different magnetic fields and how they release energy make them unique, teaching us about how stars evolve and about extreme physics. Magnetars have magnetic fields so strong that they control everything about them, causing events much more dramatic than what we see in pulsars. Imagine a magnetic field so strong it squishes atoms into needle shapes. This extreme magnetism can twist the star's crust, causing starquakes that release huge amounts of energy as gamma rays and X-rays. 
These magnetic fields can even bend space itself, testing Einstein's theory of relativity. Pulsars and magnetars, even though they come from the same kind of star, tell different stories about the universe. Pulsars with their steady pulses help us map the gas between stars and test Einstein's theory, while magnetars' intense bursts teach us about extreme physics. Studying both has changed how we understand stars and the most extreme objects in the universe. Fast spinning and strong magnetic fields are what make pulsars and magnetars so special. A pulsar's fast spin creates electric fields that make particles speed up, sending out beams of energy. A magnetar's strong magnetic field affects how it spins, causing glitches that tell us about what's inside. Pulsars and magnetars are like laboratories in space pushing the limits of physics. Their incredible density with lots of neutrons teaches us about nuclear physics and the strong force. These objects give us unique chances to test theories in extreme conditions. Studying pulsars and magnetars pushes the boundaries of fundamental physics. The strong gravity of neutron stars tests Einstein's theory of relativity proving it to be very accurate. Magnetar's strong magnetic fields distort atoms, causing strange effects like vacuum biofringence. Observing these effects could reveal new physics beyond what we currently understand. Pulsars and magnetars give us clues about the early universe, teaching us how stars made heavy elements. Studying what they're made of shows us the processes that created these elements in ancient stars. These extreme environments are also natural laboratories for particle physics, similar to the conditions right after the Big Bang. Multi-messenger astronomy combines what we see with telescopes with gravitational waves and neutrinos. Pulsars' radio pulses and magnetars' gamma-ray bursts teach us about extreme physics. Gravitational waves from neutron stars crashing into each other give us a new way to study their dynamics, adding to what we see with telescopes. Pulsars and magnetars help us understand the fundamental laws of physics that govern our universe. Studying them has taught us about how stars live and die, what matter is like under extreme conditions, and about gravity. These cosmic laboratories challenge our understanding and inspire new scientific exploration. We're still just beginning to understand pulsars and magnetars. There are many mysteries left to solve. New telescopes and multi-messenger astronomy promise exciting discoveries. Combining data from different sources will give us a more complete picture of these extreme objects. Studying pulsars and magnetars reminds us how vast and amazing the universe is. These objects challenge what we think we know and broaden our understanding, inspiring curiosity and exploration. As we continue to explore space, pulsars and magnetars will keep fascinating us and revealing new secrets.